So this question says the perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 624 centimeters. All right, I am going to use plug-in picture, right? It's, we're describing an equilateral triangle, so I know that an equilateral triangle looks something like this. And in, regardless of how I draw it, um, basically, it means that each side is equivalent. So if the perimeter is 624, and the perimeter just simply means the sum of all three sides, I know that a equilateral triangle has all three sides equal to each other, so I can just take 624 and divide by 3. So I'm going to go to my calculator and do that. And I get that each side should be 208, right? In order for them to all be equal and to all add up to 624, each side of this equilateral triangle must be 208. The next sentence says the height of this triangle is k root 3. I'm going to just use a different color. So I'm going to draw height here. Call this k root 3. Now, what have I done to my triangle? Well, I've drawn that height there, but I also just from practice with this with these types of questions on previous SATs, know that I'm also creating a right triangle, right? So I have this right triangle here now where this is k root 3, this is 208, and I basically have turned this bottom into 104, right? I've split this 108 into 104 here and 104 there. So this right triangle might be useful for me. So the question says, what is the value of k? So I think that focusing our attention on the right triangle is actually better than focusing our attention on the full equilateral triangle because we actually know some things about a right triangle where a leg is some value, we'll call it. In fact, I'll draw this here. Maybe this will, this will jog our memory. We actually are told on the test, in the first, on the first page, where we have information regarding formulas, that if we have a leg that is x and the hypotenuse is 2x, then the long leg is x root 3. And that's exactly what we have here, right? We have a leg that's 104. The hypotenuse is 2 times 104, which is 208. And then we have this longer leg here that's k root 3. Well, k root 3 corresponds to my x root 3. Now, in this case, x root 3 is just saying, well, if I know what this x is, I just plug that in to the x here, and I'm done. In this case, I do the same thing. Like my x for my actual question here is 104, right? So it's like saying x or really k is 104. So the question is asking for the value of k. Well, we found it because we know that this k here is the same as the value here on the shorter leg um, of this right triangle. So our answer to this question is 104.